Okay, what is up guys? I am back and so I when I first got this monitor I had a problem with the flicker. I thought it was like broken. I was like, there's no way because it's you know it's basically brand new. So I was like, I um I tried absolutely everything, changed it. I spent hours trying to fix this. I spent uh changing the HDMI cable, overclocking the monitor to uh, the frame rate, free sync frame rate. I thought it was the G sync. I thought it was the uh, the free sync. I thought it was the Xbox. I thought it was whatever. I thought it was the Xbox uh, settings. I and I tried everything, fixing and spending hours, 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 until I found something. And when I did it, when I did do it, I um, when I did do it oh sorry brain fart when I when I first did it it didn't come back right away it was like a day after but it was that thing that really changed it and it stopped flickering and by flickering I mean it just it went there was a line on the screen and it went black for like a millisecond it was like super quick sometimes a second and sometimes it'll be more frequent but now it doesn't do it at all and thank goodness cuz I, I would I was gonna keep the monitor, but it would be a shame that it would keep flickering. But I fix it. So basically, what I did, uh, I think I I, w I went to device manager, right? And I found I found this. I was looking up a bunch of different Reddit shits, YouTube's, and it was super hard to find uh, this. But uh, I I did my research, and huh. That is weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked as you guys. So basically, my monitor is still looked at as a generic PMP, but I did give it, give, gave the monitor an update where it sh it didn't show as it showed the monitor's name and not as a PMP, but now it's showing it as PMP. But my monitor's working fine, so maybe you just need the update. You just need an update, the update for the monitor, and it's good to go. So basically, I have an LG, LG GL 83A, I think that's what it's called. And basically, you need to look if your monitor has a software driver, download, whatever. So basically, I went here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it was actually pretty hard to find. You know, you go to software drivers, then uh, you look up your model. LG GL LG or I think LG 27 GL no damn it I forgot LG GL L damn LG 83 <laughs> okay hold up let me find it LG I'm sorry this is looking super unprofessional but you guys get to see the full extent of it LG 27 80 Yo, yo, son, of a bitch. G L. Oh, there you go. G L. Eighty three. A. Or the eighty three A fifty. And like like this, it doesn't pop up. So you just want to go back, and you want to go to uh, you wanna, you wanna go to uh. You just want to go to monitors right is that what I went to cuz like you see it didn't pop up and I guess a lot of LG's had these problems so what did I I think I went to find software and drivers yeah. oh oh you see mine popped up you see the LG so it does that you want to do the Windows driver that's what you want you want to download the Windows driver uh, boom they have all the models sometimes you have to go go to like look for example LG monitors right I spelled it wrong I don't care so you want to do the all LG monitors right and then uh, damn it's weird 
to it. Uh, you want to go to the firmware. Oh, there we go. See, look. See, you see how it does software firmware drivers, and then it shows all the monitors and boom gaming monitors. And I'm pretty sure mine's on the second page, and then then it'll actually show your driver. I mean, it'll actually pop up. See, it should be here. There, 850. That's basically mine. And then boom, you download the Windows driver. Boom, you download it. All right. So, and you really can't do anything with uh, you can't like open it. You can't open the thing. And then, so once you downloaded that, you want to go to the uh, device, device manager, right? Boom, boom, boom. And you want to go to the monitor, and you want to select the second one because that's your uh, monitor. And then you want to do update driver. That boom, it will show as what the monitor name is. And mine's not popping up anymore. I don't know why. I deleted the file maybe that's why but ever the day after ever since then actually didn't notice until later but I was like it's not blinking no more I think that is the reason why it started working I tried everything else it wasn't the HDMI cords it wasn't the it wasn't the Xbox um, maybe the old you also overclock your monitor you just uh I still have it I don't know if this will help you, but this is the second option is the CRU. CRU uh, basically overclock your monitor. This is why I did. I, I messed with it a lot. I did like I did uh, 70 to 120 hertz because I play at 120 hertz. But yeah, I'm pretty sure updating the driver or updating your monitor and so your Windows doesn't see it as your monitor as generic PMP or just I think updating the monitor. Software shit uh, made it stop flickering, blinking. So, like, random times it would just go black for a second with the white line, or just go black for a second randomly. Super weird. Um, I thought my monitor was broken, but yeah, it's not. So, I hope this video helped you. I'm sorry this was low and I could have made it. I was just trying to explain the best I could so you guys understand. But, uh, yeah, I hope this helps because. <laughs> I spent hours.